Ladies and gentlemen, this is what a light trap looks like. Light traps are used by entomologists to attract insects and study them up close. And today I am in southeastern Brazil, near Rio de Janeiro, in the mountains, near a town called Nova Friburgo. And because of the high altitude, it is a little bit colder here, and a cold climate attracts different insects that live in the mountains that are different from the ones that live in the low-level rainforest. And I just show you some incredible diversity here. It's already looking great, we just got started. But let's take a look, for example, at this awesome hog moth here. I'll take it later for a close-up, but this is just a preview for you guys to enjoy, all right? Just a little preview. And take a look at some of the other insects here. So this is a very small species of silk moth, a Hylacea. But there is a lot of stuff going on here right now. If we look on the floor we see insects too. Here we see a very large silk moth which I will identify later. And we just see a lot of insects being attracted here right now. This is my butterfly net, I put it against the wall. And a lot of moths have flown down. And they are just attracted to it. Ironic how huh? when the moths already fly into your net. I count two species of Saturnid silk moths here. What looks like potentially two species of Geometrids. And some very small species down there, I don't know which family, but we are going to find out. I'm going to take my time to closely make close-ups of all these wonderful insects. Ah, here we have a wonderful green Xylophanus. And don't worry guys, the close-ups are coming. I take all the insects for a wonderful close-up. Just a nice preview of all the things that we already got. Like, I just set up the trap. Ooh, here on the wall. There's another beautiful moth. And this of this kind of silk moth, we're having a lot of species right now. I'll have to go and ID it. And even on the floor, we see so much interesting stuff. Like, oh, look at this moth here. It's green. It's just emerald green. What an amazing camouflage it has. And if we look down here, these small black things are Hylacea's. Hylacea silk moths are some of the smallest silk moths that you'll find in Brazil. And there's 55 species of them. Most of them are gray, brown or black. So identifying them is very hard. Sometimes you need to even dissect them to see the differences because they can be internal and not visible externally. Wow, guys. Look at the crazy... Ooh, that's so beautiful. Look at this one. Let me zoom in on it. Wow, this one is so green, literally though, that's beautiful. Let's see if we zoom out if we get different colors. Yeah, it helps that I have a light with me, little lamp here. What else have we got? Even on the cable here there's a cool cool moths, oops, that doesn't look great. Wow, even on the staircase next to the light trap. Just look at this diversity. Let's get some cool color on this one. Oh, that's a nice one. This appears to be one of the many species of tiger moths here, the arctids. They're incredibly common here. Here's my monster energy drink. It will keep me awake at night. <gasps> What did I see? No way. Did you guys see this? Oh, this is this is a click beetle, guys. But a very large one. Let's zoom in on it. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at this huge click beetle. And it just went to a defensive mode because my torch is shining inside its face. And it's probably overwhelmed by the light. But look at this awesome... Very big click beetle. Wow, I'm going to take close-ups of all these animals later. So keep watching the video. Don't skip, guys. Don't skip. This is some really good stuff. This is grade A material. And guys, this is why I want to travel for my YouTube channel, yeah? 
traveling is usually very difficult for me because it's time consuming, it's expensive. And my channel is demonetized, so it's hard for me to afford it or find sponsors, but... And maybe this is self-promotion, but you know what, I have to promote myself, no one else is doing it. This, guys, what you're looking at right now, this content is what I can make for you every day. If I can grow my channel bigger. Oh my god, this tiger moth is amazing, guys! Wow! Look at its color, it's so shiny, it's like a jewel. Oops, sorry, I got distracted. Something was itching. I, have, I was afraid it was a wasp. I'm a bit scared of some of the wasps here. They can sting very hard. So this moth kind of mimics a wasp if you use your imagination. It's part of the many tiger moths here in the area that kind of mimic wasps. There are so many species of them. Oh my god! Look at that pearlescent abdomen. That's honestly just gorgeous. What? And these animals are colorful and toxic, so they usually get left alone by predators. That's kind of cool. Other moths get eaten all the time by birds and bats, but these guys... I'm sure they have natural predators as well, like spiders. Some of them are immune against toxin or mantids. But generally speaking, they have less predators because they have chemical defense. That's a generalization, not all the arctid, not all the tiger moths are chemically defended, but most of them are, which is why they have such bright colors and sometimes a bitter smell. It's because of alkaloids and pyrazines that they can have. And this, ooh, this click beetle is so fascinating. This is wonderful, this place is full of life and here we see some rainforest, guys. Some very big rainforest that I'm moth trapping in and all the moths and insects we see are coming out of the forest, being attracted to my light. Ooh, it's kind of scary here at night, isn't it? Wow, okay, let's go back to the light. Let's so see, let's take another close look at what we find. Ah, this is another species of silk moth. It's common in Brazil. Let's zoom in on this one, otherwise the colors will be bad. Ah. Oh, that's beautiful. What a beautiful silk moth. This is a Saturnid. I think its name is Perija. Again, there's many Perija species here in Brazil and to identify each of them can be tough. But I like a challenge, so we're going to try and identify this one later. This is just me doing a... I wonder what else is in my net. We have to be careful. Sometimes... Oh my god, what's this? Oh, that's a big silk moth. Light, guys, we need light, right now, right now. Oh my god. There's just a big silk moth here chilling in my net. And this is one of the many local species of Derfia. So what's cool about the larva of Derfia is they're toxic and like, I mean venomous. If you touch them, they have dangerous venomous spines. The moths themselves, of course, are quite harmless. Pretty harmless, but at the same time, don't mess if you see caterpillars of Dirfia. Some of them will hurt you pretty badly. That is insane, isn't it? Ooh. Are you enjoying the moth show? Wow. And down here, there's some giant Cerambesid beetles, like a giant longhorn beetle. And just to show you its size, I'll put my shoe next to it. That's kind of big, isn't it? Oh, hi there, there's another beautiful silk moth. Oh, look at those beautiful colors. Amazing arrangement of colors, wow. This is such good stuff, guys. Well, here's some more darkness. Spooky darkness, I don't like spooky darkness. Another giant serambicid. Wow! Are you guys impressed yet? And on the other side of the sheet there's even more insects, but I'm a bit paranoid. Because the wasps here are evil. But can you see that? On the, if I look behind it, there's even more insects just waiting for me. We'll show more close-ups of all of this later. Oh my god! <laughs> 